Two million years before mankind existed, there was an endless space of darkness surrounded in mystery. From this mysterious mass of darkness comes forth a strong demonic race who now plan to attack the earth from a distance over thousands of light years away. The people of the earth are totally unaware of a major catastrophe that lies before them. Good, Good day. Morning. Have we finally reached the Earth, the third planet of the solar system? Within five minutes. It is indeed a beautiful planet, well worth advancing our troops this far. The base in the globe has just been completed. The sources are waiting for your orders, your highness. Splendid! We shall conquer the Earth in one swift blow. From here on, Earth shall come under the rule of the Supreme Death Master, Prince Zados of the Bosanian Empire. Order the troops to start the conquest, Zandra. Yes. Jules. We are ready. Draco. All set. Attention! All men of the Earth invasion troops, it is now time to extend the evil reign and advanced culture of the Bosanian Empire in all the universe. Destroy every single worthless human who tries to stop us. Eliminate all their defense forces completely. Invasion from outer space. Red alert, red alert. All defense stations, take your posts. Vindicator squadron, taxi to runway 5, awaiting takeoff clearance. of the Earth's international defense. This is Chief Commander Robinson. We have just confirmed a huge movement of UFOs entering the Earth's atmosphere. All international sectors shall immediately implement defense precaution programs. The Earth's security is entirely in our hands. Let us defend Earth to the utmost. Great Britain here, number four squadron on standby over defense station number 12. USA, Harris squadron. Position completed. The Soviet Russian's third fleet is awaiting your orders. This is Commander Robinson of the Earth International Defense. This is Smith of the Special Earth Forces. Our observation radar has also monitored the flying saucers. There is no doubt it is the Bosanian fleet Dr. Armstrong has sighted. Mm, this must be the reason for Dr. Armstrong's mysterious disappearance. We shall presently be closing the observation center. Will you please proceed to the special training camp? We have to use our ultimate defense plan. It may be our only chance for survival. We read you, Commander. We shall proceed with ultimate defense plan immediately. The Earth's defense troops have all been completely mobilized against the approaching invaders from outer space. All residents are advised to move under the direction of your respective local government body. Don't panic, please. Don't. Yes, this is the guard. But Mr. Director, almost everyone has fled. Shall we close the base? Negative. We cannot close the training center until we are through with our five special agents. No one is to leave his post. Should anyone disobey orders, shoot him.
I honestly can't understand you, Mother. What's really going on? Don't ask too many questions. We've been confined in this base for training almost every day for this past year. What's the reason for all these? Mom, we're not robots nor infants anymore. It would put our minds at ease if you'd at least tell us why we're here away from all our friends. Are you complaining? Your mother's a dedicated scientist. She's isolated her three children from the world in a special training base where anyone gets shot for trying to escape. I myself was brought here to Japan after a rodeo tournament, but never have I been told what special mission we're on. I'm sure all of us are just dying to find out the nature of our mission, don't you think so, Jamie? It's been nearly 12 months. Mm. The moment for you to find that out is now. The whole world is now under threat of attack from a menace from outer space. Invaders? What? The whole world? We're now at war? Good heavens! The defense has just been attacked! Our UFO fighters can stop the flying saucers! They've invaded us. They should be attacking soon. I wonder if we'll survive. Reports disclose that the Mediterranean fleet has gone completely silent for over 10 minutes now. The Pentagon reports that the Antarctic Air Force has been completely eradicated. Distress signals are being received from the African Republic. The Australian Naval and Air Force have been completely immobilized by the space weaponry of the Bolzano saucers. There must be a weak spot in those UFOs. communications cables to BBC London have just been cut off. Over three million people have perished in separate bombings in Italy. Gosh. The city of Buenos Aires is being razed to the ground. The end is near. I've got to go off the air now before the building gets... Ah! There must be something we can do. And it's happening everywhere around the world. That's not possible. Dr. Smith, will you please tell us where we're heading for? We're not trying to escape. We shall protect the Earth, if that's the last thing we ever do. In this island installation is a closely guarded ultimate weapon. Observe carefully. What weapon? Your missing father, Dr. Armstrong, Dr. Smith, and I have long expected this day of the Bozanian Empire Conquest, the very reason this island installation was conceived. What you're about to see is the ultimate weapon which can possibly compete with any enemy who threatens the Earth. Yes, a secret weapon super robot, Vortus 5. Vortus? This is Vortus 5. What powers the robot? He's just about ready to go into action now. Let's go up. Hey, this is tremendous! It's amazing this huge robot was built! This robot is the result of years of research by your father, Dr. Armstrong, and myself. All five of you will power it to victory. I get to control it too? Yes, this is the very reason that all five of you were put on training at the secret headquarters. We could not risk anyone finding out about it, so we couldn't tell any of you. Is this... The control center. The robot is now ready for launching. What? Mark, you'll fly number two. Roger. Steve, you operate number one. Uh-huh. Big Bert, number three. Okay. Bill John, you take number four. Roger. Jamie, number five's yours. Roger. Take your launch conveyors. <laughs> Dr. Smith, 
We still know nothing about the mechanics of these crafts, Doctor. Zero in one second to launch. Let's just hope we don't go into combat right now. That's precisely what you're trained for. But we can control them that smoothly, Dr. Smith. You've all had aircraft training. You'll need to fight these machines. Is everyone familiar with all controls? The Voltus team shall now head towards Tokyo. Destroy all enemy saucers! Have we got enough weapons to meet the saucers? This operates exactly like the battle simulator control your dad built. Yes, mother. We follow. We're on our way to Tokyo. Now! Is this our Earth base headquarters? Yes, it is. We chose it because it closely resembles our Bosanian architecture. <laughs> the Earthlings have all fled to the mountains. They know for sure they are helpless against our saucers. Prepare to launch our final siege against the Earthlings! This doesn't look good. They're planning to crush the international defense base and leave our people helpless. Commander Robinson, we've got to alert Dr. Smith immediately. Not bad, not bad at all. If we attack them all together, we may wipe them out. Don't panic. Our International Defense Headquarters is now under attack by a monstrous beast from the Bosanian camp. International Defense Headquarters? That's where your father is, Jamie. I hope we can get to Defense Headquarters in time. Okay now. Voltus team, we've got to hurry to Headquarters. <laughs> Commander Robinson, we can't fight any longer. We don't have enough power to destroy that monstrous beast. Don't give up hope, all of you! Help is on its way! The fight will soon be over. Then all Earthlings will be wiped out completely from this planet. Your Highness, something's heading for a robot! What? <laughs> Why? It's just a group of puny planes. Certainly no match for a robot's power. <gasps> Our headquarters have any damage. Prepare to attack the robot. Wait, Walter Steam. If you meet the beast head on, you don't stand a chance of winning. We can't lose! You're almost impregnable once you bought in. Everybody, make a V-formation with the number one machine in the center. Prepare immediately! That's it! Everyone V-formation infected! Voltus team, let's fall together! All of you, press the red button! Let's fall in! <gasps> Bring Sados! Your advance report said nothing about the existence of this robot on Earth? What is your excuse? I'm sorry. <laughs> Never fear! Let our invincible monster slaughter them! Immediately! All right, team! Let's show them what power Voltus 5 has! Bunch of 
dishes at least 600 tons. I've scanned all Volta's weapons. Let's give him the power chain knuckles. Power chain knuckle activated. Fire! Chain knuckles! Ground fighter activated. Fire! Now, Steve, pull back and use the magnetic whips. Magnetic whips activated. defense machine. It seems the Earthlings win for now, but this conquest is not over by a long stretch. No planet stops a Bosanian invasion. All fleets to the next galaxy! Earth is finally declared safe once again for our people. No one can tell if we are safe from further menace of the Bosanian forces, but our vanguard of defense, Voltus V, shall see our planet through any future invasion.